Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be reviewing the brief tenure of one of Formula 1's modern independent entries, a team which underwent two separate changes of leadership during a campaign plagued by financial difficulties, yet managed to remain in the top flight for seven full seasons. Mana. Manor Motorsport was founded in 1990 by John Booth, initially competing in Formula Renault, fielding such drivers as future F1 champions Kimi Raikkonen and Lewis Hamilton. In 1999 the team entered British Formula 3, earning successive titles with Mark Hines and Antonio Pizzonia. The team would go on to compete in European Formula 3 throughout the rest of the decade. In 2009, Manor Motorsport began their technical relationship with virtual engineering company Worth Research, headed by former Simtech owner Nick Worth, as the two parties put forth a joint bid to enter the 2010 Formula 1 season as a fully-fledged constructor headquartered in Donington. The team's bid was successful, and leading into their maiden season, Richard Branson's Virgin Group became the team's official title sponsor and major investor, an event which saw the team take on the name Virgin Racing. Russian sports car manufacturer Marussia Motors also purchased a stake in the team. So begins our retrospective on the Resolute Manor Grand Prix. The team's first Formula 1 car, the VR01, was a landmark Grand Prix car in that it was the very first digitally designed Formula 1 chassis that came with an aerodynamical package developed completely in-house by Worth Research. The VR01 was powered by Cosworth engines and ran with BP fuels and Bridgestone rubber. The car came painted in a combination of bright red and black, with the car's main shades accentuated with white piping. The team livery was highlighted by faint decorative watermarks, which appeared in various positions on the car's bodywork. Major partners Virgin were primarily seen on the front and rear wings, whilst the team ran with its Virgin Racing logo upon the car's side pods. The team obtained supplementary sponsorship from FX Pro, Full Tilt Poker, Oxygen Investments, Clear, Carbon Green, UST Global, and Marussia. In 2011, Marussia became the team's majority shareholders, which saw the team registered officially as a Russian constructor, competing as Marussia Virgin Racing. The team produced the MVR02, which again made use of computational fluid dynamics and ran with Pirelli tyres. The team ran with a revised version of their red and black combination that discarded the previously seen watermarks. However, the livery now also featured grey piping, which ran alongside the white. The car raced with Marussia branding on its engine case and nose cone, whilst midway through the season the side pods were devoted to Walt Disney Pictures, which utilised the space to promote its feature films, such as the popular children's movie, Cars. The team was also joined by additional sponsors Armin, QNET, Quantel and CNBC. 2011 would be the final season the team raced under the Virgin Racing banner, as heading into the 2012 season, the team became known solely as Marussia F1 team. 2011 also saw the team ceasing relations with their chief designer Nick Worth, as the team opted for a more conventional development for their 2012 chassis. During the 2011-2012 off-season, the new rebranded team relocated to Banbury in Oxfordshire and developed the Cosworth-powered MR01, which was launched only two weeks before the beginning of the 2012 season. The MR01 retained the team's recognised scheme of red and black, however the team's colours were now presented in a diagonal format, featuring an interchange of red and black panels. Marussia took on space on the car's rear wing and engine case, whilst Virgin remained in a much smaller capacity, seen only on the car's airbox. In 2013, the team produced the MR02, which came with another livery twist, as the livery's diagonal elements and grey piping were dropped, in favour of a proportionally horizontal arrangement of the team's red and black, as well as a faint chequered flag ornament on the car's engine casing. 2013 also saw the team signing AGAS, LDC, Bifold, and PDVSA as minor sponsors. 2014 would prove to be a season of highs and lows for the team. The team produced the Ferrari-powered MR03, which ran with shell fuels and a revised red, black and white livery. Jules Bianchi would register the team its first ever points when he crossed the line in ninth position at that season's dramatic Monaco Grand Prix. However, tragedy was to ensue, 
as Bianchi was severely injured in an accident during the Japanese Grand Prix. Bianchi's accident, and subsequent passing nine months later, would have widespread repercussions for not only Marussia Formula 1, but the Grand Prix racing world as a whole. As a sign of respect, Marussia would compete at the following Grand Prix, the inaugural Russian Grand Prix, as a single car entrant, piloted solely by Bianchi's teammate Max Chilton. Chilton's car ran with the Twitter handle JB17 in support of Bianchi, who was at this time in a critical condition following his accident at Suzuka. The Russian Grand Prix, the team's first and only home Grand Prix, would prove to be the team's final race in 2014, as Marussia found themselves unable to compete for the remainder of the season due to overwhelming financial pressures. In late 2014, Marussia Motors announced they would be exiting the venture, casting the team's future into considerable doubt. The team was saved in early 2015 when British businessman Stephen Fitzpatrick bought control of the team. As such, the beleaguered outfit competed as Manor Marussia F1 team for the 2015 season, fielding the updated MR03B chassis, which was once again powered by Ferrari. Whilst the team's technical framework remained largely the same, the team's livery and sponsor package underwent significant changes. For the first time, Royal Blue was added to the livery, present on the car's side pods, as a host of new sponsors joined the team, such as Flexbox, Coupons.com and Airbnb. The team also continued to run with JB17 on the car's airbox, as the team's former driver continued to fight for his life, eventually succumbing to his injuries on the 17th of July 2015. Following the 2015 season, Manor Motorsport founder John Booth would leave the team, as the team continued to soldier on in Formula 1 for one final season. Prior to the 2016 season, the team dropped Marussia from its official racing title and reverted to competing solely as Manor Racing. The team had signed with Mercedes engines and Petronas fuels as they fielded their all new MRT 05 chassis, which ran with yet another segmented blue, red and white team livery. The team picked up a band of smaller sponsors, which operated with the team on a race by race basis. Names such as Pertamina, Kiki and Shazam were among the few seen on the car at various stages of the season. Manor's limited financial support would soon catch up with them, as heading into the conclusion of the season, Stephen Fitzpatrick seek to offload his holdings in the team to new investors, but hopes of a last-minute rescue deal to keep Manor in Formula 1 ended in early 2017, when Fitzpatrick notified the FIA that his team was formally withdrawing from the sport. And so the curtain fell on one of Formula 1's most respected backmarkers. Despite Manor's lack of success, the team managed to outlast its fellow privateer teams which had also entered the sport way back in 2010, namely Caterham and HRT. Perhaps the team's greatest mark left on the sport was an unintentional one, as in the aftermath of Jules Bianchi's fatal accident, the FIA confirmed ongoing research into closed cockpits for Formula 1 cars, eventually resulting with the introduction of the Halo device at Grand Prix level in 2018.